Okay. So this is our uh, farm and that's not me, but um, he is um, uh, spreading the waters to, uh, for it. And this pole right here is like uh, um, with a, a fan on the top. What it does is that um, it keeps the air warmer so that you know the warm air comes out from the ground and then it, it shoots down the, the air. So that's what the pole does here. And that's our tea. It's looking pretty healthy, you can see. And um, the differentiation of our tea is what we put in the, uh, the, the dirt. And you might have heard that uh, our tea is called sugarcane soil tea. And this is one of the materials that we put in the dirt. And that's the, uh, the dirt mountain there. And what we do, it's a lot of dirt. So we take the dirt from farm and we transport them from the farm to uh, using the truck and mix all the natural element, including the sugar cane and different material and bring it back. So that's the truck right there. And this is how we mix the dirt. And this is actually a little video. Let me see if I can turn on the video here. And you can see this is the um, the different components that's in the dirt. And we mix them using the, uh, the heavy um, machines like that. And the reason why the steam you see there is um, it's not because it's hot. It's actually doing a chemical reaction between the dirt and different elements, which is fermenting uh, some of the elements. And that's the steam. <laughs> Yeah, sugar, uh, sugar cane syrup, and we put like 12 different materials in there. And we collaborate with, uh, we research with the Suzuka University and have been doing for the past 15 years. Uh, we put different elements in the dirt and then uh, after one year, try to see the health of the tea plant and the taste. And we change the, um, the chemical, uh, the, the component to go into the dirt to see what works better. And that's going on every year. And that is a little machine to put the, the dirt into the, on, on the soil. And this is a little bigger version of it. It's inside it is a dirt. And that's a heavier version of it with a machine. You can see the dirt there. And this is another video of the dirt coming from the truck into the machine that you saw. So it's a lot of work to maintain the, the dirt, as you can see. And this one already has the sugar cane and all the other elements in there. This is before we put the dirt and this is after. And traditionally it is called Chagusaba method and it has been done for a very long time in the history. And what it does is originally it is for maintaining the dirt and the root from freezing during the winter. So you would be putting like a hay. But then we started to put different elements, which enhances the taste. So how, so what does the, the sugar and the other elements, how does it change the, the taste profile of your green tea? 
Yeah, the sugar cane is the, the main component. And what it does is it makes the taste of the tea less bitter and less astringent. So, you oh. know, Japanese tea has the bitterness. It, uh, it removes that. So that's the most famous part of our, our tea. And of oh, course, okay. different elements changes the chemical structure of the, uh, the component. And that's what we study. But the, uh, the main part that is famous for is the, the, uh, the less bitter and less astringent. Oh, okay. And that is the, we're, you know, we maintain the uh, shape of the, the tea tree to be this shape. And this is known to be the, um, the shape that, in, uh, that gets the sunlight the most. So that's why this is how it looks. And that's the tea form there. And this is for covering the tea. Uh, you may know that gyokuro and matcha are called covered tea. We cover the tea leaf before harvesting. And what it does is that uh, tea leaf, tea becomes kind of hungry for uh, sun and it produces a lot of different chemical that makes the taste of the tea to taste like that gyokuro and matcha, that distinct taste. And that's the covering process of that. And you can see we covered that entire thing. And on the on this side of the screen, you see is the covered tea. You can see the color is different. This is non-covered tea. So by covering it, it because it produces a different chemical, it changes the color com color as well. So you notice that gyokuro or matcha has a lot more vibrant color. It's because of that. And this is us um, making sure that the tea tastes all right. And this is a little video that we shot recently using drone. It's nice with the technology of, you know, like a drone that we can see it easily like this. Ah, sorry but the technology doesn't work well. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see if I can fast forward to where you were watching. There. And you see the, uh, the fan is moving to keep the air to be downwards. And a lot of them are there. Isn't it pretty? It's very pretty. Yeah. So, yep, that is the, uh, yeah, that is the presentation. Oh, thank you so much.